Founded in 1860, New York Medical College provides degree granting programs in the health professions at the graduate level. Here in our 56-acre Valhalla campus, we have five schools. The School of Medicine, the Graduate School of Basic Medical Sciences, our School of Health Sciences and Practice, the Turo College of Dental Medicine, and the new Turo School of Nursing. At New York Medical College School of Health Sciences and Practice, we train graduate students in the public health disciplines and in the rehabilitative therapies, like physical therapy and speech-language pathology, with another emphasis on pediatric swallowing disorders. We have the best that the New York City area has to offer, while also being in a suburban landscape that allows students to have a little bit of both. We have two speech programs here at New York Medical College, Masters in Speech-Language Pathology, an advanced certificate course in pediatric dysphagia. The professors that we have, they are absolutely extraordinary. They have a very unique, medically-oriented focus to their speech-language pathology program. Students get exposed to the medical side of speech-language pathology from the very beginning. Our medical rotations in different hospitals, inpatient settings, outpatient clinics, acute care. Our students get this experience of diagnosing, evaluating, and treating people from our community in our speech pathology clinic. Working in our on-site clinic, getting that interaction with the patients so early on in my graduate studies gave me um, that inspiration that I needed and really kind of molded me into the clinician that I have become. Here at New York Medical College, we have a three-year Doctor of Physical Therapy program. I really love the small class size here at New York Medical College. We not only get to learn from the physical therapy faculty, we also get to learn from the doctors and professors from the other programs here at New York Medical College. The physical therapy curriculum trains them not just in muscles and bones, but also trains them in neuroscience, in respiratory physiology, in cardiac rehabilitation. Faculty come from the School of Medicine, basic medical sciences. We have over 26, 27 part-time clinical faculty who bring in their clinical expertise to the program. We're given 24-hour access to the anatomy lab where we have our own cadavers that we dissect throughout the course. Not a lot of other physical therapy programs have this, so it was a huge draw for me. We have a problem-based learning model where students are learning to apply information in a mock clinical scenario. We're presented with cases and provide interventions and examination strategies. I can't imagine another way to learn how to do physical therapy. We have a strong emphasis on interprofessional education where we have speech pathologists and physical therapists and physicians and scientists learning together. It's about giving you an environment where you cannot help but to learn. When they leave, they virtually all get licensed immediately and get jobs right away. At New York Medical College School of Health Sciences and Practice, we offer a Master's of Public Health degree with four different concentrations, which includes behavioral science, epidemiology, environmental sciences, and health policy and management. We also have a doctorate program in health policy and management, as well as an MS in biostatistics. I just graduated with a Master's in Public Health, concentration in health policy and management, and a certificate in global health. Some of our students will use their masters in public health to shape policy changes on the local, state, and national level. We have individuals who work in research, students working with individuals who may be impacted by different health disparities. We have commissioners of public health as part of our faculty. They are commissioners of health of large public health departments. They are also public health directors in some cities around us. We have almost immediate access to what I would call public public health laboratories in some 11 jurisdictions encompassing a population of over 3 million. The learning wasn't just academic, it helped me step up to the plate to become a leader. The student population is very diverse. We have individuals who come from different nationalities and ethnicities. While I was doing my online classes, I was able to interact with students all over the world. We also have students who are just completing their undergraduate degree, as well as individuals who have been working in the field for 20 years. We train many people who are already working in hospitals, even insurance companies, and pharma, where they want to learn more about how to build value into the healthcare dollar and develop better and more efficient systems to treat a whole range of disorders. We also have our practicum program, which allows our students to do internships 
internships with organizations within our region. This is how we give back to the community with our time and with the experience that we have gained. What really makes New York Medical College amazing, we really do provide a great connection between what you learn in the classroom, what you learn in a patient's room, and what you learn in the community at large.